You ever wonder how some people get so much done, but you, on the other hand, just seem to be floundering like you are not productive. In today's video, I'm going to share five simple things that you can do to absolutely be more productive in your day. The first thing I want you to do, and this is going to sound counterproductive, but I want you to stop multitasking. I feel like we're in a day and age where everybody thinks that the more you're working on, the more things you have on the go, the more productive you are, but this could not be further from the truth. In reality, what you need to do is to stop multitasking because here's the thing, when you multitask, your mind is thinking about so many things, which means you're not able to focus on one thing to get it done to the best of your ability and to have it completed in a timely manner. You Multitasking, it makes you scatterbrained. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that the more things you're working on, that the more you're getting done. The next simple thing that you can do to help yourself be more productive is you can start breaking down big projects into small bite-sized pieces. To do this for myself, I like to use a thing called mind mapping, where you write down or you create a map of the small things that you have to get done. You can start to see if I do idea one and then idea two and then idea three, all of a sudden you start making this big project more palatable, more easy for your mind to digest. As you start mind mapping, what you can also do is you can start to group tasks together, things that make sense. This is not to turn back and start multitasking. What it does is it helps you group things together so that it's systematically easier to go from task one to task two to task three and so on. Now, if I do say so myself, at Wondershare, we have an absolutely fantastic app called eDraw Mind. And this is a simple plug and play mind mapping software that helps take your most difficult, most important tasks and helps you lay it out in a, in a format that makes it so easy for you to comprehend. It makes it so easy for you to see your ideas in front of you and then execute them, therefore making you much more productive. Check the description below because I'll be sure to leave a link so that you can check out eDraw Mind. I promise you, this helps. The next thing you're gonna do or gonna want to do if you wanna be more productive is you're going to take a break. <laughs> I know, you're thinking, wait a minute, I need to get more done. I don't have time to go for a walk. I don't have time to be taking a break. I'm telling you, the best thing you can do is take periodic breaks. What this does is it helps you to reset your mind. It helps you to refocus. Sometimes, myself very much included in this, we get so worked up, we get so overwhelmed at all the things that we have to do that we just try to do more in less time, which is great in theory, but when you get it so that your mind is overwhelmed, your mind is like smoke's coming out the ears. You need to take a break. Doing this, only five minutes, you just need five minute break. Doing this will help you clear your mind. It helps you gather your thoughts. You can come back to what you're working on with a fresh perspective. It's amazing how much more productive you will be if you allow yourself the opportunity to take small breaks. Now, tip number 3.5 is that while you're on this break, you might just as well subscribe to the channel because this is what we talk about is how to be more productive, how to get more things done. So hit the subscribe. Now we're on to tip number four, which is going back to five minutes. But instead of taking a five minute break, what you need to do is you need to tell yourself, okay, I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna do this task for five minutes. Between me and you, that's probably going to be a lie because once you get your mind and your body into the zone of doing whatever task it is, 
for five minutes. When that five minutes is up, there is a great chance that you're in a groove. You've gotten over that procrastination. You're ready to kill it. Not literally, but you're ready to kill whatever that task is. So you're not going to stop because the hardest part, in my opinion, is getting going, getting the oomph to get started. So if you just tell yourself, take five minutes and start now, it becomes so much easier to continue the task to completion. This tip is the simplest, most difficult tip I have for you is that you need to stop distractions. One of the biggest distractions is your phone, especially if it's full of social media, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, let me just check what's happening on TikTok. Let me just check what's going on on Facebook. Let me just, you see where I'm going here? We're wasting a lot of time with these distractions, these things that without question, can wait until you're ready to dive in. Not saying social, not saying your phone is bad for you. But what I'm saying is it's definitely bad for your productivity. It's a great way to distract you and pull you off task. And it's a wonderful way to make sure nothing happens in your day. Now, earlier in tip number two, I talked about mind mapping. In this video, you can see exactly how mind mapping works with our program eDraw Mind. So check it out now.